Hey everybody, it's Mr. S, and I'm here to read you guys a very special story. This one's called William's Doll. Now, what part of the book is this? The front cover. And this is the spine. This is the back cover. Who writes the book? The author. And who does the pictures? The illustrator. Now, for this book, the author is Charlotte Zolito, and the pictures are done by William Penney Du Bois. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the book. William's doll. William wanted a doll. He wanted to hug it and cradle it in his arms. Well, that's very sweet of him. And give it a bottle and take it to the park and push it in the swing. I wonder who pushes you in a swing at the park. And bring it back home and undress it and put it to bed. I wonder who undresses you and puts you to bed at night. And pull down the shades and kiss it goodnight. And watch as its eyes close. And then William wanted to wake it up in the morning when the sun came in. Hmm, I wonder who does these things. And start all over again. And just as though he were its father. Hmm. And it were his child. A doll, said his brother. Don't be a creep. Sissy, 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 said the boy next door. Well, those things don't sound very nice. Sissy, 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 and don't be a creep. How can wanting to raise a child be a creep? How would you like a basketball, said his father. But William wanted a doll. It would have blue eyes and curly eyelashes and, long, and a long white dress and a bonnet. And when the eyes closed, they would make a little click like the doll that belonged to Nancy next door. Creepy, said his brother. Sissy, sissy, chanted the boy next door. So you can see William is at his neighbor's house, and she takes very good care of her doll. And that's what William wants to do. He wants to be able to take care of the doll. And his father brought home a smooth, round basketball and climbed up a ladder and attached a net to the garage and showed William how to jump as, as he threw the ball so that it went through the net and bounced down into his arms again. He practiced a lot. So there we go with William practicing with the ball and there's the ball in the gift. And got good at it. But it had nothing to do with the doll. William still wanted one. Poor William. Can you guys say, poor William? His father brought him an electric train. They set it up on the floor and made it and ate out of the track and brought in twigs from outside and set them in clay so they looked like trees. So we see that they set the train tracks to look like an eight. So we call that a figure eight. And then they put clay, right? They put clay and then they put sticks in it to make it look like trees. The tiny train threaded around and around the tracks with a clicking sound. William made cardboard stations and tunnels and bridges and played with the train a lot. But what do you think William really wants to play with? What do you think he's going to say? But he didn't stop wanting a doll to hug and cradle and take it to the park. One day, his grandmother came to visit. Hmm, 
We wonder what his grandma's gonna do. What do you think? I don't know. William showed her how he could throw the ball through the net, attached to the garage outside. He showed her the electric train clacking along the tracks, through the tunnel, over the bridge, around the curve, until it came to a stop in front of the station William had made. So there he is practicing his basketball skills. She was very interested and they went for a walk together and William said, but you know what I really want is a doll. Wonderful, said his grandmother. No, William said. My brother says it will make me a creep and the boy next door says I'm a sissy and my father brings me other things instead. Nonsense, said his grandmother. <gasps> so what do you think they're going to go get? Hmm. She went to the store and chose a baby doll with curly eyelashes and a long white dress and a bonnet. The doll had blue eyes and when they closed, they made a clicking sound and William loved it right away. Now, in case you didn't know what a bonnet was, it's what the doll is wearing on her head. Oh, let's show the picture of the grandma and William at the toy store. But his father was upset. He's a boy, he said to William's grandmother. He has a basketball and an electric train and a workbench to build things with. Why does he need a doll? William's grandmother smiled. Why do you think he needs it all? Well, let's see what she thinks. He needs it, she said, to hug and cradle and take to the park so that when he's a father like you, what's she gonna say? <gasps> He'll know how to take care of his baby and feed him and love him and bring him the things he wants like a doll so that he can practice being a father. The end. I really like this book because it shows us that girls and boys can do some of the very similar things and this is one of them. Um, a boy can have a doll because one day he might be a dad and maybe he might not be a dad. But who am I to say what a boy and girl can do? It's what's in your heart that matters the most. So thank you friends for reading this very special book with me and next time you hear a girl that wants to play football or a boy that wants to play a doll with dolls, you know that you can invite them and say, it's okay, and that you're still my friend, and it doesn't make you a sissy, or it doesn't make you a boy, or it doesn't make you a girl. It just makes you who you are. Thank you. Hey everybody, it's Mr. S here, and I'm going to be talking to you guys about what? development and assessing children and kind of looking at their play and how to look deeper into their play and how to see maybe something that you might not have noticed before and why play is so important. So today I'll be playing with a friend of mine's son named Orion and I'm going to show you how I talk to him and kind of explain things so you guys can watch the way we play and once you finish seeing the way we play I'll explain to you some of the different concepts that are going on while I'm playing with Orion and I'll try to talk about the different things that I'm looking for as an educator and the things that I've noticed in his development and we'll kind of talk about how to look for things and maybe even now when you are home with your child how you may be able to work with them um, on their developmental skills and kind of see where they're at and assess them with their current understandings uh, and so at the end of the video I will go ahead and talk about some of the things that I noticed about the play session and go more into detail about how to assess and what to look for. All right, thank you very much. Enjoy the video, friends. All right, oh, Ryan, tell me what you're doing here. What are you working on? <gasps> so I see we got a, what is this one called again? Helicopter. Helicopter. Do you remember why it's called the helicopter? Yes. Why? It has a? 
you want your chair. Can help? All right, what do you say? Please. And thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. All right, come sit over here with me. Is that a good spot? Yes. All right. So I see we, you, you said it's a helicopter, right? It's a helicopter because it has a propeller. Can you say propeller? Propeller. Propeller. And this one is a car. Look, it has wheels. How many wheels does it have? Can you count? No, this is the tires. The tires? Even better, it's got four tires. All right, let's count them. Ready? Four tires, yeah. So that one has tires. How many tires does this have? One, two, three. Three tires. Three tires? Which one has more tires? Huh? Which one has more? This okay, this one has three tires. This one has four tires. Which one's more? Two. That one? That one has more? Yes. It has it does have more. It has one more. This only has three. What other cars? How about this car right here? What is this called? Truck. A semi truck. Can you say semi truck? How many wheels does the semi truck have? One, two, three. There's three wheels. One, two. It has one, two in the front, so let's count them all together. Ready? One. What's next? Two, three, four, five, six. How many tires does it have? Six, right? Yes. It has six tires. Okay, so this one has six tires. This one has four tires. And this one has no, oh, this one has three tires, and this one has four tires. Okay, so this one has the most. This is the middle, and this is the least. It says less. Yes. So it goes three, four, and six. Let's what about this? Does this have any wheels on it? Does this have any wheels? No. Why not? What is it? There's tires right there. Oh, there's tires inside of it? What happens if I let it go? What's going to happen? What's going to happen when the monster? The monster? What is it going to do? What's it going to do, Orion? When I let it go, what do you think? Should I let it go? Yes. Uh oh. Okay, you're gonna watch with me. Yes. What's gonna happen? I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm, gonna, I'm scared. What's gonna happen? <gasps> what it do? It was moving. Oh, you crashed into it? <gasps> Why'd you crash into it? Arr, is this a bad guy? Is this a bad guy? Is that because it's Batman's car? Where do you think, where did Batman buy the car? He, he, it's inside. He's inside, Batman's inside the car, right here? Yes. Oh, how do you know he's right there? How do you know he's not right here in the front? How, why do you say he's there? He's going that way. He's going that way? Where is he going to drive to? He's going to drive that way this way. In this way? Is he driving somewhere? Is he going to pick somebody up? Yes, Superman's going to pick up. He's going to pick up Superman? Yes. What about the What about the, the guy who wears red? Huh? And he has a mask like this. Who's that? He wears red and he has a, he has a mask. Yes. And he has a yellow, a, a yellow letter. Who's yellow. that? Who's that? Robin! You think he maybe he's gonna pick up Robin too? Robin's going to another side. He's on Robin's on the other side, so they're working together? Yes. And what do they do? Where do they drive to? Are they looking for somebody? Yes, he's looking for Superman. Why? Why is he looking for Superman? What does Superman do? There's Superman! Is this a Superman right here? Yes. And they're gonna pick him up? Where are they going to take him? He's going to take him in Batman's car. He's going to take him in Batman's car? Yes. 
And when, where does Batman leave his car at when he goes to sleep? Where does he leave it? This is, this is Batman's phone. That's Batman's? Yes. What about when he leaves it? You know how your dad parks his car here? Where does Batman put his car? Put it in his car. He puts Superman in, the, in his car. Yes. What, okay. What about what? When is Batman gonna go in the helicopter? He's going up there. He's going up where? He's going up. Where is he gonna fly to? He's gonna fly up. Just up? Really high? Is he gonna fly in outer space? Maybe. No. No, no outer space. Yes. What about? Can he fly to the moon? Mm, yes. You think he can fly to the moon? He's just going to take the helicopter and fly all the way up there? Hey, come here! Oh, where are we going? Come on, let's drive. We're going to drive? Okay, can I... F I'll fly and you drive, okay? okay. Where are we going? Oh, I see a bad guy over here. I see a criminal. we got to stop him. we got to tell him to stop. Let's tell him stop. Stop! Don't move. Don't move. You're under arrest. Okay, you gotta put the handcuffs on him. Click, click. Click, click. Oh, where are we gonna take him? Where are you leaving him there for the police? Oh, we'll leave him there for the police. I'm the, I'm the truck. Hey! Hi! Hi! What are you doing? I'm driving to Batman's car. You're driving with. Okay, well, let's drive together. <gasps> I see the Joker! You see the Joker? Yes! He's in this green. The green vehicle! Look at him! He's getting away! He's getting away! Look, he's moving! We gotta stop him. How are we gonna stop him? How are we gonna stop him? Oh, just gonna crash into him? But isn't that won't that hurt Batman? And he's in the car. Isn't that gonna hurt him? No? His car's indestructible? Oh, we defeated Joker. Where are we gonna take him now? Where do we take Joker? We got him. We we caught him, right? Where are we gonna take him to? Take him to the back cave. Huh? Where did we take him? He's, he crashed him. He just crashed him? Yes. So he's no more? We don't have to worry about him anymore? What colors? What colors are the cars? Uh, black. Black? Is this one black? No. No? What color is this one? Blue. And? Red. Blue and red. What about the bottom though? What color is the bottom? What color is the bottom? You're like, oh, you already know. Okay. <gasps> How many legs does it have? Ooh. Can we count it with me? One. No, you're like, no, I'm too into my car. You can't? You want me to help you? Why? Why do you make that noise? Where, where did you get that noise from? What makes that noise? Oh, the big truck goes. It's, is that noise? It goes like that. Yeah. And then how? What do the cars do? <laughs> what about when they go really, really fast? What about slow? Okay. And then when they're going fast, really fast. Show me how do you drive your car. That's how you drive it? What about the steering wheel? You're not going to steer it? No? Yes. Okay. Now show me how do you drive your car. Get the steering wheel. Huh? Mine? Yeah, get your steering wheel. You're like, oh no, I have a car. I don't need it. <gasps> Whoa, what's that? Daddy, Daddy brings it. Daddy brought it. Can we use it? Yes. Can we try the car on the on the huge structure? Yes. Is it is it big or is it small? What do you think? Big. It's very big. Can you say gigantic? Gigantic. Gigantic? How many cars are gonna fit in this thing? This. Just that one? Just one? No. Can I pick it? Which car do you want me to use? Uh, which one do I use? This okay. The semi truck. Okay, I'm gonna try it. You, do you think it's gonna make it? Yes. We're gonna try. 
Oh, it's going. Oh, what happened though? Did it stop? Oh, it's still going in. It's it stopped again. There we go. Which car do you want me to pick now? Maybe this one? No. No? Okay. Captain America. Captain America? Yes. Captain America. Alright, Captain America it is. Ready? Tell me when. Tell me when. One, two, three, go. Go! Uh-oh. Uh, what do we have to do? It's stuck. What do we do when it's stuck? Here. Okay, you want me to hold this? Yes. Alright. I'm holding Put it. In there. Put it up here? Yes. And now what? Go. Uh oh. Uh-oh. We have a traffic jam. So we gotta move this. Ah! <laughs> it did it fall the way? How many cars are up there right now? Woo, we got a traffic jam. Traffic jam. That means the cars aren't moving. Uh oh. They're going. Look at that. They're going. My car. Do you think the motorcycle will work? My what if we try the motorcycle? What do you think is going to happen if we do the motorcycle? The motorcycle. Oh, Robin's right there. Robin's right there? Yes. <gasps> no. Okay. No, 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 Robin's turn. Oh, it's not Robin's turn? Okay. Oh, it is Robin's turn. You want Robin? Yes, Robin's turn. Excellent. Well, thank you. Put it in Okay, can I put, I'm going to put him right here. Uh-oh. Oh, no! He fell, but I caught him. It's okay. You think he'll fit up here? Nope, I don't think he's going to fit here. Maybe if we sit him down? Motorcycles, motorcycles here. The motorcycles here. Uh-oh. Spaghettios. Whoa. Oh. Alright, here we go. Ready? One, two. Uh-oh, I think we're going to crash. If I let go of the car, I think yours and mine are going to crash. Is they're going to crash? Ah! ah! You got me! All right, I'm gonna try. Ready? My turn. No, your turn. Okay, your turn. Uh, it's going, little by little. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm not working. Oh, look at the look at this car. What, do you know what color this car is? Yes. What color is this car? Huh? Purple. Purple. That's this is sweet car. Whoa. It's Rita? It's Layla. Whoa, whoa, whoa! And Orion. And Orion's this one? No. Spider Man trip car? No, that's Lightning McQueen. Oh, that's Lightning McQueen? Okay. My bad. I thought it was Spider Man, but maybe it is Lightning McQueen. <gasps> oh, here it goes, here it goes, here it goes, here it goes, here it goes! Then all the way to the bottom. So it starts on the top and it goes all the way to the bottom. You hear me, Ryan? You put it on the top, and then it goes to the bottom. Right? We put it on the top, and it's going to go to the... Corner. It's going to fall to the bottom. Oh, oh, now it's in the middle, and now it's at the bottom. All right, friend. So after reviewing the tape and after looking back at some of the conversations that me and Orion had, um, I've actually filled out some of the measures that I found that meet the requirements of the Watch Me Grow form, which is the form that we use uh, in our program to tell us kind of where children are academically as far as the California standards using the uh, desired results, don't quote me on this, the DRDP, uh, Developmental Profile, that sounds about right. And so we use the DRDP to look up kind of where they're at, so kind of assess where they're at. So what I'm going to do is I have here the DRDP measures pulled up, 
and I'm going to ex specifically explain kind of where my thought process are. So after reviewing that play, I'm going to show you what I marked down, I'm going to talk about it, and then I'm going to talk about how I saw that, and I'm going to use the DRDP to talk about the measure and kind of where they would be at at this point. So Ryan is three years old, so we're using the correct tool. At the During that video, he was a three-year-old. He still is a three-year-old, <laughs> but yes, at the time that it was recorded, which is kind of important because you don't want to rate a child, because there is a, a DRDP that's for designed for toddlers, so if you're going to do the toddlers, do it for appropriate age, because obviously if you don't do it for the correct age, it's going to affect the scores of the child. So, my first one was taking turns. I noticed that when we were playing with the structure, we were taking turns with the cars. Um, so he didn't, so the, the first measure here is exploring and it says need adult prompting or support to wait for turn, which was not the case. Orion was able to, he could wait without me. He didn't, we didn't need to communicate that. I think if anything, we just worked it out. Uh, cause I never actually told him to take turns with me, which is what developing would say, which uses adult structured procedures for taking turns, including rules and cues. So did he need me to tell him Hey, we're gonna take turns. No, he did not. There was never that was never put in place. Um, but he demonstrated his knowledge of rules and procedures for taking turns. So that means he already knew. He was well aware that we're gonna take turns here. You're gonna put your car. I'm gonna put my car. So we didn't have to actually talk about taking turns for that process. And routinely uh, proposes taking turns as solution to conflict over materials and equipment would be integrated. Well, I wouldn't say he's integrated because. He's, there's not really anything to conflict about, and we didn't really talk about it, but he did demonstrate that he knew that we were going to share and take turns. So for taking turns, I would definitely say he's at building um, integrated. If maybe he was in a preschool setting and he was talking to his friends, then yes, I would say he's at the next integrated level. Um, for the next one, uh, I found that number seven he did, which was relationship with adults, which, I mean, we can go straight to integrated because we can see where he's at. Works cooperatively with an adult to plan, organize activities, and to solve problems. So, we worked together and we talked about what we could do with the structure. You can even say he might be a building, seeks to share experience, engaged in cooperative activity for to get information with adults. So, we could say he's a building. Oh, we could, he could be building or integrated, so maybe we need another observation to figure it out. Um, for this specific observation, I'm going to go with integrated because he did cooperate with me very well, to want to play with me. So if I was to do another observation, maybe we could see something else and different, and so that's why we do multiple observations, so we can kind of get good information about where these children are at. The next one that I marked down here is comprehend, Comprehension of Meaning, which is number 13. And let's look at this one. So we're going to start from exploring and go all the way to the top. So we're going to see where he's at. Shows understanding of meaning of simple words, phrases, stories, and songs. So we know he did that because when we talked about the word helicopter, he was well aware of what a helicopter was, what a semi-truck was. He could tell the difference. Shows understanding of more complex words, phrases, in conversation, stories, and learning. Um, I would say he definitely understood because still helicopter is a pretty intensive word and we were talking about how the helicopter also has wheels and where Batman sits and we were talking about just different words and where you know what the cars have on them, the parts of the car, the parts of the helicopter. So we definitely had a couple conversations in there that were that really showed language. Shows us saying that language refers to imaginary past or future events. Uh, we didn't cover that, so that would be an example of something that we, we got to developing just by naturally talking, but we didn't go further than just stopping there. So we didn't go to the next level, which would be talking about past, future, and whatnot. So that would be something to note down, but so for that, he's definitely at developing, and he's not at building quite yet because we didn't talk about the future. So that's something we would have to set up. Uh, he could follow increase, increasingly complex instructions, so when we were talking about, hey, let's put the structure together, and we're going to do this, he was able to follow through with that. Um, and he was, so shows understanding of one to two step instructions and requests about familiar routine. So 
he was able to, yeah, he's definitely exploring. Uh, shows are saying of one to two step instructions and request about unfamiliar routines and unrelated events. So I would say he's at developing. He definitely is because he can do it. He understands one to two step instructions. Uh, and then the last one's building. He didn't, well, because we didn't do a three step instruction, I wouldn't say he's building yet. That's just something that's not the child's fault. It's my fault for not trying that next level. But I can be aware of that. So I know I did developing, but I need to get to the next level. Uh, we have expression of self through language. So let's see if I was correct. Produces phrase, phrases and simple sentences that communicate basic ideas and needs. Yes, he was definitely, that's exploring. Uses three to five word sentences that contain nouns, verbs, and recently learned vocabulary. Helicopter and semi-truck, I think we definitely talked about those words. Um, uses that, uses words that are relatively precise and makes longer sentences by connecting shorter ones. Uh, I would say he's in between developing and building, but to be on the safe side, we're going to put him on developing. And I think if we did another assessment, we'd be able to sit where he's at more appropriately with another observation, I should say. Uh, language of conversation communicates with others using language basic pur purposes such as requesting, rejecting, and describing, speaking clearly enough to understand. Yes, we definitely talked to him. We understood him. Uh, has short conversations. We definitely had uh, short conversations back and forth, like about the about the Batman car, about the green object that I found, about the the play structure, the, the car structure, and has extended conversations about real or imaginary experiences. I would say he's between developing and building, for sure, because I'm not quite sure if he's at building it, but he's definitely in between the two. So we're going to go with developing once again, just to be on the safe side. So our next one is cause and effect. Number 27, cause and effect. Tries to act out actions to see what happens. Uh, he definitely did that. Anticipates the routine action will have a specific result. So he kind of knew if he put the car at the top, it would go down. And if I remember correctly during that play, we knew that the we had this one car, we had a motorcycle, and it wouldn't go down all the way. And he knew that, and he knew to wait for it at a certain spot where he would push it down the rest of the way. Uh, shows understanding of familiar cause and effect through language or action. I'm not sure if he used the language there, per se. So we're going to, once again, we're going to go with developing on this one. And what we would want to do is take this, what we have, these measures, and kind of write them developing, write a little note. Okay, I want to extend this. I think we could go to the next level. And what's really effective sometimes is to have these measures available, which you can find this online for free. And I believe there's a 2050 one coming out. But you can find this available online, and you can kind of look and say, okay, where can I increase the next level? And so just print this out and kind of give yourself what kind of activity could I plan out to get my child to the next level? So you can kind of ask a question because sometimes because I don't ask a question or because I don't tailor the activity to this specific measure, it's hard to get to the next level unless I know I'm trying to. So let's look at 28. Actually, problem solving. Did we do this? Mm -mm. No, I didn't mark problem solving, but I want to make sure. Yeah, problem solving did not happen. 29, memory knowledge. Remembers a few key features of familiar objects and routines. So obviously he definitely remembered the key routines, I and mean, he knew his structure, he had the toys down pat, he knew which the names are, he even brought up McQueen at one point, uh, communicates memories about an unfamiliar event that happened earlier today. So, at this point, I would say he's exploring because he didn't quite bring up a memory. So that's something that we'd have to go in further. He definitely is at exploring, but for developing, Nothing happened during that play that per se say he's at developing. So we're going to leave it at exploring for now. And later on we can do an activity to really go into that. Curiosity Initiative. Um, he definitely had an interest in the materials around him. Uh, actively engaged with new materials by asking questions. Uh, we didn't quite ask a lot of questions. So I'm going to leave this at exploring just because the child was not asking questions during the play, so to be on the safe side, we're going to go exploring. But maybe if we bring another toy and try this activity again, we'll get different results. Um, engagement and persistence. 
Uh, continue self-select activity for a while. Maybe he's tracked in and lose interest without adult encouragement. He definitely was at the activity for quite a while. We were there for at least about 15 minutes or around 15 minutes. Uh, continue self-select activity on own even in a dis uh, distracting environment. Definitely. There was definitely his father was in the background. Um, he had his stepmother around there. So just kind of everyone was around. And he was able to stay engaged and focused. So I would say definitely developing. Uh, usually works for through difficult encountered activity. So we I don't know if he's at building yet because we didn't I don't to think the activity was difficult per se. So maybe if we made an activity that was more difficult, uh, we could definitely say it's at building. So we're gonna leave it at developing for now. So for engagement persistence, we're gonna leave it at developing just because we haven't tested the next level yet. Alright, we got a couple more here and then we're gonna be done. Um, Number of cents of quality or quantity and counting. So number 32, uh, we're going to look at what the different measures are. Uh, exploring is recite some numbers, not necessarily in order. Identifies without counting the numbers of the object in collection of the three objects. So like I see three. Oh, there's three. So automatically knowing. Uh, he's definitely at exploring because we, as you can remember in the video, we counted the tires. Uh, recognizes and knows the name of some numerals, correctly recites numbers in order 1 through 10. Uh, you know, we, we can't necessarily say that we're developing because we didn't count to 10. So that's something we have to plan for a future activities, counting to 10 so we know that the children, that that child specifically can count to 10. So we're going to leave that exploring for now. For a future activity, we could, we could definitely go into depth with that. Number sense of quality in mathematical operations, that's number 33, uh, demonstrates that items can group and compare by quantity, uh, communicates the results more when objects form two groups are put together. Definitely did that because we were talking about the tires and which one had more. Correctly identifies the, the larger of the two groups without counting. Um, I remember him pointing, so we did count, so that's kind of one of those weird ones. We did count it, but I don't know if that would count. Compares by matching or counting two small groups of objects and identifies which has more fewer or whether they are the same. So I'm going to leave it at developing for now because we definitely didn't make it to building because we didn't really try that. But as you can tell, some of these activities kind of require a specific like, action to happen. So even through actual play, you would have to really plan some of this out so that you can meet the goals and the, of the criteria of what some of these are asking. We got two more and we're good to go. Classification, recognize when two things are the same. Yes, we were talking about the tires and how they all, like the car and the helicopter both had tires. Sort some objects that are the same from a group of objects. Oops, I'm sorry, hold on. Okay. Some sorts of objects that are the same from a group of objects. Um, so, yes, definitely uh, we had some of that going on and I think we were yeah because we had the cars and we're talking about the superheroes and we were talking about McQueen so I would definitely say he's at developing there and building we're gonna leave the building one out of the out because we weren't sorting objects by one attribute quite yet into three different groups but we're gonna definitely say that he's at developing for this one and number three, five, uh, measurement, uh, shows understanding of uses of words and describes some measurable properties such as size, length, weight, and capacity. So we were talking about big and little. So definitely we were at exploring for that one. Uh, shows understanding of uses words that com compare size, length, weight, or capacity, bigger or small. Uh, I would say that we did use the word bigger during the activity and I think at that point this is where we're going to end because I don't think he's at building yet orders objects by one measurable property so he's going to have to sort objects out from smallest to largest and we did not do that so as far as all the measures there's 43 of them um, we met quite a few of them uh, they might not be exactly where we want them to be by the end of the year of course because he, he just turned three uh, so he still has a lot of time to grow um, but so that's kind of an example of what we look for. We we play with the children, and even though we were just naturally playing, um, I got a lot of information just from that 
10 minutes, 15 minutes of play about where the child is uh, as far as this assessment tool. And so my next step would be to take this and say, what can I do as far as activity to push them to the next level? So maybe I can get some objects out and have them sort them in order. So you can meet the standards and you can just at home set up activities for your children to push them to that next level. And this is also great for parents who kind of want to know, where's my kid at? What are they doing? You know, what? when's the last time you recorded your play and watch yourself play with your child and evaluate yourself? Hey, how am I doing? Am I really playing with them? Am I listening to them? Who's doing all the talking? So give it a shot one day. Try it out. See what it's like. Record yourself talking to them, being engaging, and, and really communicating with them and see how it turns out. So thanks, everybody. I'm, I'm uh, happy to... Answer any questions about the DRDP or if you have any more questions, uh, I will be releasing more videos like this about assessing and watching and playing and communicating and just really reflect back on what you saw when I played with a child and how I was very open with them, talkative. I really did a lot of self-talk, which means I, I told them what I was doing as I was doing it, which is really important for children. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. If you guys need any help. I'm here for you, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed this, and um, I'll see you next time.